States now. Here's a look at the major headlines this evening. About 70 million Americans are now eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine booster shot. This after the CDC endorsed both Moderna and Johnson & Johnson booster shots. The CDC has also signed off on the mixing and matching of the vaccines. And federal regulators are now considering authorizing vaccines for kids ages 5 to 11. Pfizer announced its COVID-19 vaccine is nearly 91% effective at preventing infections in children. Joining us live now is pediatric infectious disease specialist with Santa Clara Valley Medical Center, Dr. Vidya Moni. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us more about the data coming from this Pfizer study and how children respond to the vaccine? Yeah, so the study came out this morning and it has really exciting data on it. Um, what they basically found was that in their pediatric population aged 5 to 11, that after the two-dose series, that there was over 90% vaccine efficacy. The other important point that was noted was that the dose for this age group was one-third the dose that has been approved for 12 and above. So the 12 and above age group gets a 30 microgram dose per vaccine. And for this 5 to 11 age group, it is a 10 microgram. So the reason why that's important is that they found the lowest efficacious dose that elicited the best immune response. So the other thing to keep in mind with that is that the side effect profile has also come down. So the usual side effects that we're most commonly used to after getting the vaccine, it's now a lot less than what we saw at the 30 microgram dose. So all in all, this was an extremely exciting um, day for all of us in pediatrics because the data looks so promising and it's so exciting. Yeah, the numbers are remarkable. What are you telling parents, though, that are still cautious about getting their kids vaccinated, even despite the data? So I would say a few different things. I think, you know, I'm a parent myself. I have two young children, and there's a daily concern as a parent that your kid's gonna get COVID and what's gonna happen if they get COVID, mm -hmm. right? We know that long COVID is definitely a situation in children, but we don't know what the effects of it are. So we do everything we can as parents to try and protect our children. So the way that I look at this is that I'm willing to do anything to protect my children. And to that extent, I myself have gotten the vaccine three times. So I know how it felt and I know what has happened to me since that time, right? We also have so much data now that the vaccine has been out for over 10 months. So I think it's very important to know that this is not brand new anymore. The majority of us in the United States and even in California and specifically in Santa Clara County, we have been vaccinated and we're all doing okay. And we're, you know, our case numbers are going down and everyone's trying to get back to some version of normalcy. And you think that this is going to get us there, is getting the kids vaccinated? Absolutely. Absolutely, without a doubt. Let's talk real quickly about booster shots. The numbers are out mm -hmm. from the CDC. Officials say the number of Americans getting boosters is outpacing the number of those getting their first vaccine shots. What do you make of that report? Do those numbers surprise you? They don't surprise me, but it is disheartening, right? You know, it's a multifactorial reason why this is happening. Um, and unfortunately, a large part of it was politics that played into this, right? So the fact that a virus, of all things, an infectious disease was politicized has never made any sense to me. So, you know, I do realize that there are a lot of people who have multiple other concerns regarding this vaccine, but I hope everyone can understand that if all of us in the medical community are pretty much saying the same thing about how efficacious this vaccine is and how this is the only way to end this pandemic and to keep all of us safe. I hope that everyone out there feels a big comfort to know that those of us who are recommending it have also received it as well. Right. Walking the walk and talking the talk. All right, Dr. Moni, thank you so much. Thank you.